killer. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today's video is going to be a review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 82, and we're going to go ahead and just get right straight into it, with the beginning of the episode basically being uh, Goku and uh, a fighter from Universe 11 named Topol, and he is a part of a group in Universe 11 which basically just fights off evil, etc, etc. Like I said in... Uh, the the last video that I posted, uh, he's it's basically the Galactic, the Galactic Patrolman and like Jocko and stuff like that. But these guys are um, heavily stronger than the Galactic Patrolman. And if you watch the episode, and you guys already know how strong this guy truly is, because uh, later later on in the episode, after the Supreme Kai. Uh, 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 asked for, for permission for Topo and Goku to have a fight uh, right there on the stage uh, they go ahead and start fighting and Goku's in his Super Saiyan transformation and the whole time uh, Topo, which is which is Goku's opponent is significantly more stronger than Goku and his Super Saiyan transformation which he is uh, which he has mastered already thus far in the series so it's pretty much no chance. Goku has no chance, and the whole time, uh, he's he's moving very very fast. Topo is a very fast, very strong opponent, and when you first look at him, it doesn't seem like he's that much, but he is actually a lot is significantly more stronger than anyone would have ever anticipated. And it was very interesting seeing him for the first time, because like I said, he kind of just reminded me of like Jocko and stuff like that, because he was doing like really strange poses, and it, I just couldn't understand and then all of a sudden he just ends up being this very very powerful fighter of universe 11 and so the fight drags on and then uh topo decides to go off with his uh his finishing uh with, with his finishing like like hold or whatever uh i forget what the name of it is called but it's like justice naked chokehold or whatever that's literally the name of of the hold it's kind of kind of a funny name if, uh, in my opinion but he goes ahead and starts basically uh, he gets behind Goku and he starts basically choking him to a point where he where he can't move he probably can't breathe too well and he's breaking all of his bones in his body or he's trying to and the whole time Goku is just kind of just he's just kind of just standing there he can't do anything and then of course um, a, a little bit later like a, like a minute uh, like a minute later uh, Goku goes uh, not full power Super Saiyan Blue, but he turns into a Super Saiyan Blue transformation, and then immediately uh, the whole fight turns around, and Goku is obviously significantly stronger uh, because it is the Super Saiyan Blue transformation, and it's significantly stronger than any of the other transformations that we've already seen in the series. As it turns for like Goku and Vegeta and like Gohan and stuff. And uh, one thing I forgot to uh, what I forgot to say earlier, but this entire time Goku, not Goku, I'm sorry, Gohan is actually getting very excited watching the fight, and he actually makes a joke saying that he actually has Saiyan blood in in, the, in his veins because he's getting very very excited uh, while watching this fight. So that leads to that leads me to believe that something might happen with Gohan when the actual tournament is going on, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Especially for when the actual tournament is gonna is gonna start, and how much time the fighters actually have until uh, the tournament actually starts. But we'll get into that later. So Goku and his Super Saiyan Blue transformation and Topo, they're fighting. It's uh, it's basically an even match, and obviously everyone can see like their fighting tactics, and so they're basically analyzing the fight with, between uh, Goku and Topo, and obviously more so Goku because they look at him as like the bad guy now and everyone in Universe 7 as the bad guy because of Goku because he was the one who wanted the tournament to start in the first place. And so uh, Go uh, Goku is, is just, it's just basically beating the crap out of him and he's significantly just trying to push him back and stuff like that and that's what he's doing the whole time. And then the, uh, they're down by the stage again and then Goku decides to fire off uh, almost a full power Kamehameha, and then 
Uh, it does significant damage against Topo, of course, but then they decided to start getting a little bit more serious to the point where Goku actually went blue Kaioken for a brief period of time. And then, uh, sadly, the, uh, the Great Priest, the Grand Priest, decided to end the fight. And the reasoning behind him ending the fight was because it, they wanted to save it for uh, the tournament, of course, and also because one of them probably would end up dead either way if it had gotten a little bit too serious. And so, uh, the, uh, the, the match ended. Uh, Go uh, Goku is just kind of like, yeah, that was a good fight. I can't wait for the tournament to start so we can actually get serious. And Topo's just like, no, you're evil. I refuse to shake hands with someone who's evil because he, because he looks at Goku as basically the guy who, who's killing everybody, technically, I guess, in a way, which is kind of funny, uh, to me at least. But... Uh, then, uh, but then the grand uh, the grand priest is like, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need time to be able to create the stage uh, because the tournament is starting uh, in 40 hours. That was the time limit that they had they had given everybody to get ready to get 10 fighters, 10 uh, uh, 10 warriors from uh, each respective universe, and so they uh, they have 40 hours to get ready to con conjure up some sort of strategy for the tournament of power. Because uh, if you go back into my last video, uh, which I'll probably link in the description, I might not because I'll forget. Uh, I did ex uh, uh, actually I don't remember if I explained the rules or not, but uh, just go look it up on on YouTube. Someone probably explained the rules a lot better than I ever can. So that's pretty much the point that I'm getting off. Uh, that's that's pretty much the end of the, uh, the not the end the end of the episode. I apologize for that. It's the end of the episode, basically. I'm just going to go ahead and end off the video now there because there's not much else that uh, we can talk about other than the fact that they are, they are going to go back to Earth. They're going to start up a plan and all that stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm running out of time to be able to record this video, so I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. And if you're brand new, brand new to the channel, be, be sure to consider subscribing. And I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.